Do you guys recognize where I am? Probably not, but if you look over there, you see that? Now I think you know. And look what we've got right here on the bench. This month's mystery tackle box. You know the drill. This is gonna be pretty interesting. Sponsored by Mystery Tackle Box. Inside this box are a bunch of baits that I've never used before. My favorite way to test them out is to take them out on the water and try to catch one fish on every bait that's inside. Let's open it up and see what we've got. Looks like a really nice variety right here. I'm gonna go ahead and show you each of them super quick. Lunker Hunt, Yapper Frog, Bandit, Flat Max Crankbait, some Mustad, four out hooks, Z-Man, TRD, Crawl Z, Lunker City, Fin S Shad, Big Bite Baits, Swim Bait, and last but not least, a Bagley Balsa Wake Bait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven items in the box this month. We got some fish to catch. Let's get going. In order to choose our first bait, we need to take a look at the conditions we've got. Bluebird skies, completely sunny, but it's early morning. So we're gonna capitalize on hopefully finding some aggressive fish and use one of our crankbaits. We'll go ahead and go with uh, this Bandit Flat Max right here. Nice bright color for this muddy water. You can see why it's muddy. We're rigged up. This bait dives four to eight feet. Let's see how far it casts. Perfect cast. So right here where I'm fishing is a seawall that I've actually never fished before. We're gonna be making our way down towards the tidal basin, but since I parked here, we might as well give it a few casts. Oh, look at this, guys. Look at that. Do you see this water? That is what we want to see. Right now, the tide's coming in. That's perfect conditions for us because this spot is pretty tough. Look at this. It's getting flooded right now, this entire walkway. This spot's very difficult to fish, a lot of pressure, but we've got the right conditions. So I think we're gonna find something. Nothing here. All right, time to make a move. We're gonna head that away into the actual basin. Alley oop. Ah. Whew. Let's go. All right, guys, we are now in search mode. Down in here. Whoo. Ah. Oh, yeah. Look at this, guys. See that moving water? That's the good stuff right there. That's where the fish want to be. <sighs> moving water means more oxygen, attract bait, predator fish. They shouldn't be far behind. Oh, what the hell was that? Something small over here. I don't know what, what it's right there. Is, is it getting chased by a predator? Something's going on here, guys. Come on, hit the crankbait. I don't know what's going on here, guys, but I am 100% getting hit. I just want to know what these fish are. Oh, damn it. Oh, I got him. I got him. Yes. Oh, shit. It's a nice striper. Holy bejizo. Oh, my gosh, guys. Oh, my gosh. It's a big striper. I knew there was something in here. God, it's a giant striper right here. I don't know what we're gonna do. We gotta get our net. We gotta get our net. This guy's gonna rip off. We need our net. We need our net. Dude, I knew something was going on over here. I freaking, oh, it's pulling drag. It's pulling drag. Dude, this is a freaking monster striper. I've never seen one this big out of the tidal basin. Come here, baby. Come here. Come here. Oh, no, 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 no. My Oh shoot, my rod's in the water. My rod just fell completely in the water. My reel just went in the water. That's not good. That's not good. Not good, not good. My metanium just went, just took a dip. Oh crap. Okay, clean off the metanium. Metanium, get clean. All right, metanium will be okay. Okay. Oh my God, it's a freaking mess. We just need to land this fish. We need to land this fish. Oh, don't fall in the water. Please don't let me. Oh, oh, come here, come here, come here, come here. Oh, sh 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 oh. let's go! Ooh, that's how we do it right there, baby. Ah, that is a freaking striper right here. Whew. Look at this thing. Look at the belly. 
Look at the belly on this beast. Woo! That is what I'm freaking talking about right here. Guys, look at this fish. Oh, oh my God. Okay, there we go. There we go. Guys, I, I can't give you a great angle. Here's the fish, probably a 22 inch. Look at the belly on this striper. Tidal basin. I've never seen a striper this fat before out of here. Absolutely insane. I mean, let me give you an angle. I'll show you why. I'm literally hanging from a pole right here. Look, there's the full fish of it right there. Wouldn't let this fish go because these stripers are very fragile. We don't want this fish to die. So we're gonna go ahead and get a release right here. I see a baby. Get back in there. <sighs> Quick release. And there she goes. That's how you start off an MTB slam. Give one for me right here, guys. Boom. Now let me show you where I'm fishing. Look at this. Look, I walked from the bridge, walked down, down into this. Look at that. Look how dirty this. My freaking reel dropped into there. It sucks, but it happened. Dirty little corner. I'm literally standing on this little ledge. That That is where I'm standing right here. You get that last shot? Let me show you what I did. Here's how I got that last shot. I'm hanging. Hanging from here, drop down any second. It's nuts. Freaking insane. This fish biting. I'm so hyped right here. We need to choose another bait. I probably got 20 hits before I landed that fish. I don't think all the fish were that big. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use one of the smaller plastics right here, right here. We're gonna use this little pink shad plastic from Lunker City. Let's rig it up. We gotta see what else is down there. Let's pull one of these little guys out. Unscented plastic, just a nice little minnow imitation right here. I actually saw a lot of minnows swimming around, so hopefully these fish down here are feeding on minnows. Now this is a presentation that can literally catch anything that swims. Let's make sure my reel is still working after taking a little dip. Oh yeah, we're good. If I was to make a guess, I would say there's a bunch of little stripers down there and maybe one or two big ones. I probably just caught the only big one. But let's see if we can get one more fish out of here just to see what's going on. Oh, something's hit. Oh, I got, I got one. That was literally my second cast. This spot is loaded right now. We've got a little itty bitty. Whoa, whoa almost, whoa, don't fall. Do not fall, please. Little itty bitty largemouth bass. You know what? We will take it. That is fish number two of the MDB slam. I mean, my first fish could have eaten this fish for breakfast, but it's all good. See you, bud. Oh, there's a fish. That's another one. That's another fish. Uh, we're on a light wire hook, guys. This is not a bad, it's not big, but it's not, not small either. Oh, it's a nice largey. That's an upgrade. That's why we didn't put this bait down, guys. Uh, we got a super small hook right here. We need to land this fish quick. This is a fat large mouth right here. I mean fat. Oh, come on. All right, let's loosen the drag. Loosen the drag. All right, loosen the drag. Okay, okay. All right, we're gonna play him nice and slow. Super light wire hook on a seven foot bait casting rod. Dude, this bait's too good. Anything would eat this bait. Uh oh, uh oh, he's gonna jump, don't jump. I think I might, oh no, I'm stuck in the tree. I still got him, still got him. Man, I'm making every mistake in the book right now. Oh, my, my rod tip's tangled, rod tip's tangled. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. All right, now's the time. Now's the time, now's the time. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Come get in the boat. Oh, baby. This has got to be my best MTB slam of my life. We're only like one hour into the challenge. I've got a monster striper one, and two bass, and this guy is legit a chunk. Let's see if we can get a finger in him. There we go. Whew. Guys, look at that. Look at the mini tank. Look at the body of him. The girth is bigger than the length. That is insane. He choked this little swim shad. I mean, this is a perfect little minnow imitation. I've never thrown anything like this, but I, I've only thrown it for like five minutes, caught two fish. That crankbait, I threw for like an hour before I caught that big fish. All right, bucko, we're gonna let you go. Thank you for eating my bait. 
See you later. Boop. Current incoming tide. Guys, fish the incoming tide for the tidal basin if you fish here. Incoming tide is the best by far. Before we switch, let me show you what I was doing. At first, what I did, I was casting it out, letting it sink to the bottom and lightly jigging the bait up and down, you know, light twitches, let it sink all the way down. But for that last fish, I switched it up to an aggressive reaction strike retrieve, quick twitches of the rod tip, just like that. And in this current, that's gonna allow the bait to dart in and out, making it look like a fleeing bait fish. That last fish went absolutely bonkers for this retrieve. We're gonna put our little minnow guy away, and we're gonna choose our next bait from our mystery tackle box. While we're doing that, guys, after this video, make sure you click the link down below, get yourself an MTB box, try out a bunch of awesome new baits, use my promo code 1R1R, get your first box for as little as $5. And up next, you know what? We're gonna use the same jig head, Z-Man Crawl, it's going on. I've got a love-hate relationship with these plastics. On the one hand, I love how you can literally catch 100 fish on a single bait. But what I hate about it is that it will melt any other plastic you store it with, and they can be a pain to rig up. Not a bad little crawl. Honestly, this can imitate anything. Let's throw it in there and see what we can get. Oh, there's one. Yes, yes. Took it on the fall, in the current. This does not feel like a largey. I mean, I don't know what this is. It feels weird. Uh, it could be a largey, actually. It's a striper. It's a striper on the crawfish. This is what, I mean, I've gotten like 30 hits out here. 30 little pecks. I'm thinking it's a bunch of little schoolies like this guy. I mean, look how hard it's fighting. It's still a nice fish. That is awesome to see this place doing so well because this place gets absolutely slammed with pressure. I mean, everyone and their mom fishes out here because you got the beautiful scenery, easy bank access. I mean, who wouldn't fish out here is the real question. But this right here, this is about, look how beautiful this fish is. This has got to be about a 16 inch, 15 or 16 inch schoolie striper. I'll take that any day of the week. Pop the hook out. And as always, for striped bass guys, quick release. Do not keep them out of the water for too long. See you, bud. Right down to the bottom. All right, it's time to make a move. Time to walk the entire basin. And we're gonna try to catch fish on the other baits in my MTB box. All right, we've moved away from the current. And if you guys look, the water is completely stagnant, very nasty looking. If we are gonna find any fish, we have to cover a lot of water and cast right up along this wall. Nothing so far. And looks like the tide's getting quite high. Oh, gotta get in it to win it. Oh, this is way deeper than I expected. This is at least a foot deep on the walkway. You know what? This looks fun. Let's go for it. Let's hope we don't fall. One misstep and I'm going down eight feet of water. Oh, what the? There's a dead fish right here. Is that a walleye? No freaking way, that's a freaking walleye. Wait, we're gonna catch that sucker. We're gonna catch him. That guy just popped up out of nowhere. Ah, give me my net. That's a freaking walleye, guys. I've never seen a walleye in here. Oh, nice and easy. All right. What do we have here, guys? This is a nice looking whoa he's alive he's barely alive whoa okay he's he's coming back alive this is insane this is insane absolutely insane day of fishing right here look at this a freaking walleye out of the tidal basin i've never seen that before in my life he's still alive look he's still moving he's still alive look at him look at those teeth in there super sharp chompers Grr. all right so 
We're gonna try to revive this fish. I have an idea. Let's see if it works. Here's what we're gonna do. Obviously, this fish is close to death. And obviously, I cannot lip this fish because those teeth are way too sharp. They cut me up. So we're gonna take our fish grips like this. All right, he's still moving. And we're gonna try to revive him by getting, getting him some extra oxygen in the water, just like that. We're gonna do this for two minutes and then we're gonna let him go and see what happens. All right, that's just about two minutes. We have forcibly moved water through this fish's gills, trying to give it an oxygen boost. Now let's see if, uh, if that helped at all. I'm gonna unclip him. First wall I've ever seen out of here. I mean, it's probably not many. Apparently they can't survive very well, but let's see what, let's see what happens. It's fins are moving. Well, we tried guys. Let's say a quick fish prayer. Mr. Walleye, there aren't many of you in the tidal basin, but the few that are, are extra special. We mourn the loss of this polluted body of water and we hope in the future it'll get cleaned up and become a suitable habitat for fish like this to survive and thrive. Rest in peace, my friend. Goodbye.